Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming today. Um, let's start out with this real fast. Oh, and it didn't work. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Uh -oh. I forgot to mute my computer. Rookie mistake, sorry. <laughs> um, so if you're new to my channel, we do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern. We come ahead of time and come and chat. You're welcome to come chat with all of us. And um, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do crafting videos. Saturdays are my design space videos. Please ask questions. If you don't ask questions, I may not answer your questions you're not asking. So if you have a question, put them in all caps. And sometimes some of the people in the chat will answer the question. Um, so are we ready to get started? Hold on. My video is distracting me. I have to get that off. All right. Now, uh, design space. So I did a video of, you guys, I lost my chat. Where'd my chat go? Is Can you guys hear me clearly? Okay, I see someone's asking, where's that cricket emoji? Um, you can support me on YouTube by clicking, I think it says join. Now they keep changing it. And one of the perks of supporting my channel on YouTube is you get those emojis and a special badge next to your name. Okay, good. You can hear me. And you also get, here's the badges. Uh, so it, the badge grows with how long you're sponsoring me. Um, and you get special emojis. And you get all of my Cricut Design Space files that I share. Hundreds of files. You get the use of those also. And a few other picks. If you hit join, it'll show you the perks. Okay, let's get shout to Design Space. Oh, support my channel over there. Patreon. George, oh, no. Here's Jessica, some shout outs. Yvette, Monica, Carol, Vanessa, Marie, Brandy, Virginia, Mouse Baby, Linda, Darla, Mary, Emma, Wanda, Michelle, Lisa, Shanna, Cindy, Susan, Kat, Helen, Lydia, Keisha, Althea, Kelly, Kathy, Deborah, Donna, Sonia, Bobby, Joyce, Connie, Jody, Susan, Melissa, Bonita, Jane, Richanda, Lynn, Melissa, Sandy, Peggy, Rose, Wendy, Linda, Lee, Donna, Cherry, and Sandy. Thanks, guys. And a special thank you to those who co-sponsor my videos. Thanks so much. I appreciate everybody. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. When I clicked over to get to Design Space, all of that popped up. So I just let it go and get out of the way for now. And if you see here, if you see, if you did not see the video of me getting my emote Bitmoji into Design Space, I did a video on that. And it's in the description of this and in the card. So in the upper top right hand corner of the video, there will pop up a little eye. I'm not sure if it does it during live or just on replay. Um, so if you want to see that video, you'll need to see that to uh, find out how I got her in here. And let me ungroup. So I put the scissors through her thumb and her finger. Can anybody guess how I did that? Well, I read some questions. Oh, puppy cam is. You are watching. Oh my gosh. There. Sorry, that won't happen again. There's a puppy cam. They're at the top of the chat. One's on the floor and one's taking up the whole bed but I don't do it during um, design space part, so we don't miss out on that. 
Okay, Brenda's having a problem finding patterns. Remind me and we will go back to that. Yes, slicing, because you saw the name of the video. Well, I mean, some of you know how I did it, but. Um, so all I did was take these scissors and slice out a little spot right here and right here. Usually what I do, so I sliced out those little parts. Usually what I do is I take a duplicate of this and then those, and I tried that. And it was so many slices because she has so many fingers through here and I was going to have to weld pieces back. And I'm like, it's not even worth it. I'm not doing it. And then I realized, oh, I can just take a little circle and do that. So what I did is I took a shape. I put the shape here, got it about the shape of her thumb. And actually, if you change the color, about like that. Let's go ahead and do this again. So instead of going to images and searching for scissors, I'm gonna go click on any part of the scissors. I'm gonna click up here on see image information and it shows me the scissors. So I'm gonna click on those scissors. So here are the scissors. Uh, this is in Cricut Everyday Cartridge. This was a circle cartridge. I don't know if this is available or not if you don't have it. But there are lots of scissors in there. So I turned them around. Changed the size a little. Press it. It doesn't really have to be perfect. Okay, we're going to move this one out of the way. And... We got to make this smaller. Well, got to make it smaller this way. The reason I have to make it smaller is because I don't want it to go through both sides of the scissor. See that? So once we have, let me bring this to the front. Once we have this, and then we're going to place the scissors where we want them. Um, so let's say we want the scissors right there on her hand, and we want to cut out this piece here and this piece here. What I'm going to do is select that and select the scissor. And for now, I'm going to group them because I'm going to move her out of the... Oh, she's ungrouped. Let me move her back. Uh, let me make it smaller. And I had her backpack and her ice cream cone, all her accessories. We're going to group her back. Okay. Uh, Jamie, not all the circle cartridges were moved to access. Most of them were. Okay. So now we have this, and we need to slice through this. Let's zoom out so we can just pay attention to these scissors. There. Okay. Now what we need to do first... Oh, this is grouped. Let's ungroup that. We're going to be slicing through this four times. So once I use this piece and slice through it, there is going to be no way to slice through the other images. So we have to select this and duplicate it. You can always duplicate it more times. Now, we need to ungroup the scissors. We don't want to move them apart. We just want to ungroup them.
Okay, now I can't grab that bottom one unless I send all these to the back. So I'm just gonna grab another one and I'm gonna place it on the top, arrange to the front, and place it right on top of the other one. While that's selected, I'm going to hit Command or you can hit Shift. Let me hit Shift, I never hit Shift. Yep, you can hit Shift and then it's selecting only two and you can see it's only two in the layers panel. See how they're darker? And the slice is available, so we're gonna slice. So now I did this piece and we can't use this piece to slice again because it has that little hole in there. So we're gonna do this one. Let's arrange it to the top. And if you get confused, you can change the color. On some of them, I thought it was easier for me just to change the color of this. So I was sure I was covering it the exact same spot. So I'm holding this, I clicked on this, have it selected, hold down my shift key and click another layer and I can slice. And I can just leave all that stuff there. Let's arrange that to the top. So we have that selected. I'm holding down shift and I'm gonna click on another part of the scissors. Whoops, that's a part I did. Okay, it's, I clicked on two parts. There we go. And now every time you do one, they kind of move up. So those are all done. And I think I'm going to duplicate this again just to make sure. Arrange that to the front. And I'm holding down my shift key, selecting more scissors and slice. Okay. And we're going to move this to the front. We're going to put it right on top of that and select this last piece and slice. Okay, so now they should all be sliced. sliced. There's lots of little pieces. <laughs> and I just grab them all and get rid of them. Then I line all these up and I just line them up by looking. And I know we can't see these. I'll change that in a minute when we send this to the back. And we're going to have to arrange that to the back and actually move it forward. This to the back. We'll just send backward. And that backward. We need to get this piece to the front. There we go. Okay, so now we can line them all up. Now, does that make sense? Is there something else you want me to show you like this? So now I'm gonna group these all back. Now let's go, now I moved her. Let me ungroup her again, put her back. I don't know what that little thing is on her. She needs that cut off, whoops. Okay, let's, let me, get her grouped back. Okay. Now bring these to the front and we're gonna just move it right there. See how easy that was? Yeah, 
You can use the Bitmoji of yourself and put it on a t-shirt. You would use iron-on vinyl. Yeah, see how easy it is? Is there anything about that you don't understand? If you have trouble um, slicing, if the slice button does not show up, look in the layers panel and see what you have selected. If it has a score line on it or anything attached, you will not be able to slice. So just look and make sure there's only two lines selected. And what else did I do for her? Oh, I put this in her hand and took some pictures and her ice cream. And then I did slice this. I was trying to see how I could do like the scissors with some other images. So what did I do? I had to make this to the front. I think. Well, I had it on her arm. Maybe I sized this afterwards. something like that. I had it so her arm was like going through it so it looked like it was holding it. Well, Christine, welcome. Glad you're here watching live. You cannot iron on Cricut printable vinyl. It's just adhesive vinyl. Oh, and did you guys see this? There are 20,000 new images in Design Space Access. So there used to be 30,000 images included in Access, and now there's 50,000 included in Access. Uh, someone says, I thought there were 50,000 images before. Well, there's 60,000 images, maybe more now, in Cricut Design Space, but there's 50,000 included in Access access. Marlene, that is a great question. She asked, could you not have welded the scissors together first, then do only one slice? Okay, let's see what happens if I weld the scissors. Then the scissors look like this. Do you see the difference? Because these are four layers and otherwise you just have one layer and I'm going to undo to take that away. I could have just ungrouped it and used this bottom piece if I was going to do that. And yeah, you could do that if you just wanted scissors like this. But to have the layered look, you have to do it like I did. So you could just use one layer of the scissors if you didn't want to go to all that trouble that I did. Mrs. C, what are you confused about? Somebody was asking about patterns. Let's um, ungroup this. Is this, oh, this is, okay. I just want solid ice cream, which there is a solid ice cream cone. You don't have to have sprinkles, but I'm just going to contour them out. So we have solid ice cream. I'm going to change this to print to find the patterns. So if you want to find the pattern, click print. Somebody asked about patterns, so we're going to go here. Um... What 
would be a good pattern for ice cream? I think I know. Oh, that might be one. Make it sherbet. I'm going to edit it. Try that. There, I added a pattern. Could have a rainbow. Yeah, the Cricut Heavyweight Chipboard is 40% off right now. Um, if you go through a link in my description and use my code Melody Lane, you get another 10% off and free shipping. And we're going to move this up. Whoops. Okay, not that high. There we go. Rainbow ice cream. Patterns do not work on an iPad, Kathy. Uh, what if you can't ungroup layers? If it has layers, you can ungroup them. If it's an SVG that you brought in and it's not it's not something you can ungroup, it's just the way the image is made. That's why I use Cricut images, guys. Did you see the new images? Okay, we're going to go to categories and we're going to go to recently added. And there's no results because we have this in the search. Let's exit out of that. So there's new football images. There's only 14 of those. Let's go back. But, oh, that's where I wanted to be. Okay. Categories, new. The people, there's wedding icons, and then there's people images. People silhouettes. There's 292 of them. Look at how much fun these would be to use. These are so much fun. I love these. Uh, Lolly's asking uh, her standard access is due for renewal. Is it wise to buy the premium? Um, if you want 50% off licensed images, not premium licensed. Premium licensed is Disney and Anna Griffin and Hello Kitty. You don't get 50% off of those. Um, but if you want to buy some of the others, you get 50% off. And that is the only difference. Any images in design space can be used on the Explorer or Maker. Anything in design space is for all of the machines, except for the really old expression machines. Yeah, you can add speech bubbles to these and um, make really cute things.
Yeah, the chipboard that's on sale, you can only use on the maker, yes. And also, I get the question all the time about things that fit in the Explorer, will they fit in the maker? Anything that fits on the Explorer machine, like the pens and uh, any of the tools or anything, they will work on the maker also, even if the package says they're just for the Explorer. Oh yeah, these would be cool on a mug. I like that one. Now she's pregnant. Look at the baby. <laughs> now, do you have any questions on anything that she's running with her bags? On anything for what we've done today? The digital miss some of the digital mystery boxes are 50% off with premium access. Not the Disney ones and not the Star Wars. But uh, the other ones, like the ones by Jen Goody and Dreaming Tree and all those, are 50% off. Uh, let's show some categories where you would save 50% on images. Actually, you save 50% on all images. If you want to buy the images, so when you don't have access, you still have them, you can buy them all for 50% off. And I think you can buy all of these at 50% off. These are like, I think that's, well, that is the elephant and dinosaur. These are the 3D images. I think these are 50% off. Um, Natalie Milan, Nancy Kubo. I'm not sure about Martha Stewart. I don't think so. I think Leah Griffith and Lori Whitlock and SVG cuts or love SVG. Jen Goody, you get 50% off and these you get 50% off. These are not included in access and I think they're all 50%. Uh, DJ Inkers and Creative Bug, not Disney. Um... Let's click on some of these. Do you guys ever go down here to categories and these were in a mystery box, one of the digital mystery boxes. All of these would be 50% off. Yes, the 99 cents ones would only be 49 cents. But if you're going to buy them, I would buy the whole cartridge. Um, there's not many cartridges I don't own. A day at the track. Has anybody seen this cartridge before? Oh, I can just see these in a little boy's room. Can make a shirt. This would be cute, uh, like on a onesie. I don't know why. I'm going to bring that in and play with it. Oh, a road. I know I've not seen this. This must be new. I'm going to insert this just to play because I'm thinking it, you could put this like on a onesie and make it so it's a, you could fill this in too or add another circle to that. But if I were to put it on a onesie, I'd get rid of this piece and then just like hang that from the top. Look, I have a necklace. 
Okay, I'll stop playing. And I don't know how, I, I there's seven over 700 cartridges. So you'd get this whole cartridge at half price. Um, this is a complete whole huge cartridge or they separated it. So I actually own the big cartridge, but I could buy that one for $4.99 and it drops it to $2.50 because I have premium access. So never be afraid to click buy now or continue in design space if it says you have to pay because you have to put your passcode in here and authorize any purchases. You can't accidentally buy something. Wow, Toronto, you are amazing. Gear for your horses. <laughs> what horses? You are funny. Animal silhouettes. This might be another new one. Alligator. Have you guys seen this one? There's a horse. Or a zebra. Um, Melody and deals on a maker and access. I want to purchase one or the other. Okay. I would purchase access and the maker. With access, you also, not only do you get the images, you get 10% off everything you purchase from Cricut.com. And that stacks with my discount. Look at that. Is that flamingo? Yes. I haven't seen a flamingo down like that. See, and you could use these as stencils. These would make great stencils. Oh, we used to have a bird like this when I was little. I can hear my dog snoring. So cute. Yeah, pattern iron on would be cute with these. How do you use the old cartridges in the maker? You have to link them to your account. If you do not, if you only have the maker and you don't have one of the explore machines, squirrel. Um, look at all these dogs. Let me show you real fast. Uh, go to maker accessories. But use one of my links in the description. And you want this. It's on sale right now for $14.99. This is a cartridge adapter. So what you do is you hook this up to your computer. This just goes to your computer. You sign into Design Space. And then you um, actually go here. Link cartridges. So go to this top three lines, click on those, click on link cartridges. There's no device found, so I don't have my, um, I don't have a machine, I have the maker hooked up so it won't work, uh, but I don't have my cartridge adapter here, 
or one of the other machines here. But once you do have that hooked in, uh, all it is is a click of a button. It'll tell you to insert your cartridge and click a button. It's really easy and really fast. Okay, another slicing image. Um, let's do one with text. I've done that before. Um, just do a word and actually I want this capital. Um, okay, I got an idea. Sorry, it takes me a minute to think of what I'm going to do. We're going to move the letters together. And I'm going to ungroup it. Once I ungroup, I cannot change the font. Well, I can one letter at a time. That one doesn't have to touch. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now these... When I hit make up, make it, I have a lot of things on there. Okay, here's the smile. See what happens when you ungroup them? We do not want to attach them. Let me show you why. Actually, let's change the color. Okay, can you see? Why did this come back again? See the little line there? If I were to attach those, those that line will stay there. It changed it all to one color, so it's all going to cut out just like this. But that line, that cut line is still there. It's still going to cut that. So we want to weld this. Now those cut lines are gone. This is one piece. If I cut this out of paper, I can just pick up the E or the M. Of course, this S is not selected near it. Um, and we are going to take the shape. Make it much smaller. We're unlocking it so we can change it to any shape like this. Now let's say I want this to kind of go through the letters. This may not be a simple one actually. I'm going to duplicate this and duplicate this. So if it messes up, we always have that. Um, I'm just going to select them both and slice. This is not planned out ahead of time. <laughs> and I am going to choose I'm going to click contour because all of these in the middle are all, oh my goodness, Ronald, I don't know about heating a pizza. I guess you could if you cover it with foil or something, put it upside down for a long. You are so funny, Ronald. 
Okay. I want, I don't want that piece. Let me send this to the back. I'm thinking as I'm doing this. Okay, I want to contour this piece. So what I grabbed are the parts of the letter you'll see. So these are the parts of the letter. Okay, let me try that again. I want to see, okay, what I want to hide. I'm going to hide this. I'm just going to hide every other one for now. And then what I need to do are hide the opposite ones on this one. So we're going to hide this one. And I'm going to try to weld those back in like that. Yep. Yeah? And then these purple ones, we're going to weld back into the smile. Are we going to do that? No. That's what I thought. That's not going to work. Huh. Isn't that what we have to do? Oh, maybe I had... Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. Arrange to the back. Okay. Now I just have this selected, and I know it because it's only going to the edge of this, not the edge of the black bar. And I'm going to click on this, holding down my shift key so they're both selected, and then weld. Yes, that did it. So it looks like, let me change the color to something pretty. Uh, we'll just use green. So it looks like, except for this little thing here, I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like that ribbon is going through the word. Does that make sense? I mean, I probably wouldn't use it like this, but I wanted to show you how you can. So when you pull them apart, they look like that. So did you learn something today? Yes, that is my dog snoring. I'm alone in the house, except for my dogs. Now you could make a name and put another name here or something too. Uh, Kathy, I have a video on adding the swishes in stuff um to a mac computer i don't have a video on the other computers but there are videos on youtube uh will the adapter i got for the cricut air work on the maker i'm not sure what adapter you're talking about anything that fits on the cricut explorer airs work on the maker so I imagine whatever it is, it'll work. Yeah, I think it kind of looks like ribbon going through it too. <laughs> yeah, I showed how to do the scissors. This is big. We did, whoops, didn't group it back. We did this today, the beginning of the class, if you just joined us. And I did this before. Well, we have to bring it to the front. 
so it looks like it's going through both fingers. I just did the same thing I did on this part. I did it on this and I did it at separate times, not the same time. You could actually do it at the same time. I just thought of that. Let me get a little piece. So for those of you that missed it, we made a little like oval thing that kind of matched the size of the finger. And actually I could do that again, make this a little smaller because the pinky finger is a little smaller. And I'm gonna hit shift, select this one, and I'm gonna weld those together. And, okay. Let's go back, bring in another pair of scissors. I forget how I had them. Now I want it like this. Um, I need to select these. No, not that. These and the scissors. and these. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. I'm going to group them for now. And then I'm moving them out of the way and I have to ungroup and I have to make lots of duplicates of these. Ungroup scissors and those are on the bottom so I'm going to bring these to the front. And cover that spot where they are down there. Select, hit shift and select any of these images and click slice. Oh, look what I did. I cut through the bottom one. So we have to make sure. That this one is not big, is not. We have to we have to redo it all. Make sure that circle there. I have to still undo until the welding is gone. Uh, Selena, turn your, rotate your phone. Okay, this circle needs to be smaller. Shorter. Because we don't want it going through the second hole. Oh, wait, wrong scissors. Oh, I don't even have these that went that far back. Okay. So we're gonna select this one and this one and weld. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate those. Now I'm gonna select the scissors and these and group and move them out of the way so I have a place to slice. Now we need to ungroup 
ungroup the scissors. I'm going to drag one of these extra ones over here, bring it to the front, and select a part of the scissors. It doesn't matter which part, just as long as it's only one part. We're going to drag these over. And if it's hard to see because they're the same color, you can change the color. So you can get it like perfect right on top and select one of these pieces. So they're both selected and slice. And you don't have to bring these on top, but I think it's easier to see when they're on top. And once we cut the pieces, we can move them out of the way. That piece isn't cut, so we're going to undo. And I'm going to lay these on top of there. Select that piece while I'm holding down the shift so they're both selected. If they're both not selected, slice will not come up. And I didn't duplicate those a third time. So I hope I'm done. Uh oh. This didn't get cut. Okay. That's all right. Let's duplicate. Okay, and select that and slice. Thank you for subscribing. And if you guys are not members of my Cricut Design Space group, go join that. I'm giving away two Easy Press, two of the two, two Easy Press two. Oh, I didn't get this sliced. We'll just pretend we did, because I'm not keeping this anyway. I just wanted to show you how to do it real fast again. Group all that. Group. Let's move these guys out of the way. Move that back over. And now her fingers are going through the scissors. Yeah, they do look like little Easter eggs, don't they? <laughs> Beth, no, don't rotate your computer. Oh, my dog's names are Kobe and Carly. They were rescued. They're eight years old, so they came with those names. All right, guys. There's the puppy. Well, this one's... I don't know why he's laying on the floor. He was just in the bed. Um, are there any other questions? I'm reading your comments. Yeah, this video and there's 60 other videos that I do uh, live classes on in a playlist. Um, but I go over so many things in these videos, you don't need to watch them all. Um, sometimes the title is not, it's not all you learn. You learn so much more. Like the title of this one is about slicing, but kind of showed you welding. I showed you attaching. I also showed you patterns. Um, Bless Mama wants a video on doing layering glitter. Do you mean glitter vinyl, like iron-on, or what do you mean? 
I do have videos on layering HTV and videos on layering uh, vinyl. You cannot layer things on top of glitter. Like you can't layer glitter on top of glitter or uh, vinyl on top of glitter. It doesn't stick well. Ronald. Oh, that's coffee for the moderators in the chat. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, for sure. So I do have a video on layering HTV. And there's a trick in there to, with registration marks on the shirt that is really, really easy. It makes it so much easier to layer. On layering vinyl, yeah, you can slice so it's not... Um, on the shirt, I have a video about slicing HTV with layers so you're only doing one image. It's not layering on top of layering. I do have a video on that. Yeah, you can slice it out so you don't have to layer. Well, Joan disagrees with me and thinks you need to watch every single video. And I want to say thank you to Joan. That's Miss Super Klutz. Uh, she does watch every single video. So thank you. She comments on every single video. And I really appreciate comments and likes on my video because it does help YouTube spread my videos more if you comment and like and uh, share them and subscribe and click that bell. What are we doing for Halloween? Hi, Evelyn. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do anything. Kobe has a scuba diver costume that Angela, when Angela was here, she helped me hold him to put it on and we set him down and he did not like it. It was, he's so cute. I have pictures I'll have to share again, uh, but I'm not even gonna, he doesn't like it. I'm not gonna put it on him again. I got it at Michael's, it's so cute. Uh, and then I got her a mermaid costume, which she didn't mind at all, but it wasn't the same type of costume. So she has a blue wig and little mermaid thing that goes over her back. I'm not dressing up for Halloween. Thank you, Carmen. Melissa's asking, what do you do to qualify to win on Facebook? I am already a follower. In my Cricut Design Space group, uh, let me see if I can get you a link to the group. In the announcements in the group, I'll show you. Hold on, let me, why did I lose my chat again? Oh, because I put it over here. There we go. Here's a link to the group. Um, thank you, Sue, for sharing that video. Um, okay. Hold on, guys. Let me go back. I have to click my design space button. So here's the group, and you want to go to announcements over here, or the announcement is on the top of the top post. You see right here where my mouse is. You can click on see all. So this tells you the sales of the week. 
with all the links of the things that are on sale and you can use my code and stuff. Every uh, time the sale changes, we change this. It so usually changes on Wednesdays. And this is a welcome to the group of lots of more information. This is more information. And here is the giveaway. So what you have to do is seven reasons why the Easy Press 2 is better than the Easy Press 1. To enter, you have to like my Melody Lane Designs page and be a member of the group and comment below which one of these seven are your favorite. So, so there are reasons why the Easy Press 2 is better than the Easy Press 1, and you choose the reason you like most and comment it right down here. Um, and then you have to like Melody Lane Designs page. And so you just click the like right here. It's really easy. There's no special things you have to do or Can you explain Patreon for me? Yes. Patreon is a site. Um, it's kind of like Kickstarter type thing, but it's ongoing monthly. So it's a place where I can share all my design space files. You choose what uh, tier you want to pledge at. You can pledge $1, $2, 5 or they go up. And as they go up, the perks go up. So there's lots of perks for different tiers and you choose what you want to do best to pledge and you get access to that and all of the perks and I have special Facebook groups for the people in Patreon also and we do special live videos with each other and you just go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane and that kind of explains a lot I'm putting in the website. Azul and Sergio, hello. How are you guys? Oh, and where is, I thought I had the cricket, the Joanne's, here it is. Did you guys see this? Hold on, let me switch over to design space button. You guys look, for those of you who have it, now this, has a little purple, not purple, wisteria, a metallic purple um, metallic purple little cricket cutie. Let me see if I can find a picture. I don't have it yet. I'm not getting mine till next Thursday, which is crazy. Oh, I can't find the picture. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Oh, that's, wait a minute. That's not a good one. But it's it'll do. Here's a picture. It's and somebody just showed it on Facebook. Okay, hold on. People are already getting theirs in. Uh, 
I don't see it, but it's a it's very metallic looking. <laughs> it's okay, Ronald, you can like any color you want. You don't have to like purple. It is not available in stores. It's only available online. Yep. Not available in any store. And you can't use coupons either. Thank you, Joy. Yeah, this hour flew by really fast. Um, so I will see you guys before next Saturday, but if you have a request for next Saturday of something you want me to show in Design Space, I will be happy to do that. Just comment below on some more things you would like to see. Um, Diane, I'm not sure what you're asking about in the Cricut webpage. The thing I just showed you with the little Wisteria Cricut Cutie is only at Joann's. It's not on the Cricut Design Space page. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh, viewer mail is the first Saturday of the month, so that'll be next week. So if you want to send me anything to see in video, if you want to share what you make and send it, I will show it in my video, opening viewer mail. You guys are all awesome. Thank you. Evelyn, yours arrived so fast because you live in California and it gets sent from California too. Although um, I think I had a little problem shopping because last night I got my notices that it was shipping and it started out one of eight packages. I'm like, oh, eight packages? I ordered a lot. I, or I made more than one order because I kept finding more things. And then uh, all of a sudden it changed from eight packages to 16. And the total weight of all my packages is 136 pounds. And it's all coming next Thursday. And I'm like, I ordered 136 pounds of craft supplies, Cricut craft supplies. And I thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? I, I don't know if this is a mistake or if my orders doubled. I need to check my account and see what I paid for. Because I looked at, I'm like, oh no. 136 pounds I think something's wrong because I did not order a machine or easy press or anything like that Ronald <laughs> oh my goodness thank you Ronald you're doing too much I need to stop the video so Ronald stops paying me thank you Ronald I appreciate it that will help me help pay for my Joanne's order. I don't know what I, I, I ordered some new stuff I saw. And a couple of those boxes of cuties. It has lots of great stuff in it. And I ordered extra cutie boxes so I can do some giveaways of the cutie. They're not all for me. They're for you guys. I think we're going to do one giveaway for the Wisteria Cutie on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at MelodyLane815. So it's at MelodyLane815. Oh, did other people's orders seem to have doubled? Well, you know what? If it doubled, double. If it really doubled, I will have more to give away. 
yeah, we want to see the unboxing. I'm kind of embarrassed that I have 136 pounds of supplies coming. Did you order a big bag of rocks? I hope not. Oh, really? You or Oh, I'm going to have to check. And I think when I ordered a lot of it, I wasn't signed into my Joanne's account. So I don't know if I can go back and look. But I'll check my uh, credit card. But if they're all the cuties, that'll be okay. I'll have more to give away. All right, guys. Thanks for coming for class. Thanks for hanging out at the end. Um, and just thanks for being there. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are amazing and I really appreciate you. I have fun chatting with you guys. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.